Let's look at the Fusion 360 workspace. We will primarily be working in the model workspace where you can create your mechanical designs. But there's also a patch workspace which is where you can make freeform surface models. There's a render space, an animation space, a simulation space, and a cam space. Here you can open a design or animation. This is the sketch menu and you can access any of its tools here. This is the create menu. I can drag a box into the work plane. I'll start it out by clicking on one of these planes. And then pulling it up or typing the size I want. Hit enter to finish. All my modify tools are here and I can also assemble and construct items. The inspect menu lets me measure features on the model. Here is where the insert menu lets me import items. Insert mesh is what I use most to bring in STL files. Here I can send my model out to be fabricated. This is where you find any apps that you add. And here I've got a bunch of choices for how to select things. Here is the view cube. If I click on these different arrows, I get these different sides. And if I click on the house, it brings me to the default position. Here's a drop down arrow where I've got all these choices. And some of these are really interesting. Perspectives with ortho faces, it means I'll view this as a perspective, but when I click here, I'll get orthographic views of it. Here, I can be taken to my account. I can set preferences. Here are preferences for the general user interface. And I can work offline, which is interesting. If I click that, I see the cloud with the line through it and then only the last change is saved and it's updated when I go back online, which I can do by clicking this. Now I'm online again. Here's where I can get help. There are a lot of interesting links here. And you can see I am signed in with my Autodesk account. Clicking on this grid here brings me to all the models that I have saved in my online account. And if I click on any of them, the current file will be replaced with that file. To orbit around this, hold the shift key down first and then the middle mouse button. And that's a lot more convenient than clicking on the orbit tool here all the time. But while we're down here, notice these other navigation tools. I can set the grid and snaps here and I can set display settings here. This is the browser for the open file. If I right click on the title, I have a lot of options and clicking export will let me save this as an F3D file to my desktop and I can upload that to the gallery or email it to other people to work on. 
Fusion is a collaborative program, so it is a BIM program. You can do direct modeling, parametric modeling, and freeform modeling with it. Here are all the bodies or solids and sketches that I have, and I can turn sketches on and off by clicking on the light bulb. See when I hover over this, it highlights that particular sketch and I can turn it on and off. And again, a body is a solid and I can turn bodies on and off. Here are file options. Here's how I save, undo, redo, and I'll click this to hide all the files again. Now how do I get to the Fusion Gallery? I'll click on Gallery and I'm taken here. And these are all the files that other people have uploaded and I can do a search of what I want and download and work on it. And I think that about sums up the interface.